Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfat. His Majesty the King's representative for charity and youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, asserted that the new achievements in the camel racing sports reflects the utmost support provided by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to heritage sports. His Highness noted that the achievement by the Camel Tayyim in the Saudi Camel Federation Cup is an extension of the series of great victories made in the past participations that affirm Bahrain's status in these competitions. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed his happiness for the victory of Tayyim in the first round of the Saudi Camel Federation Cup held at Najran Camel Field, adding that this will be a motive for more achievements in the coming period. His Highness Sheikh Nasser also pointed out that the wide participation in the Saudi Camel Federation Cup has set the most outstanding example for the country's keenness and growing interest in the camel sports. His Highness added that the Kingdom of Bahrain has always been keen on participating in these competitions. His Highness wished all the participating teams the best of luck. Tayyim, owned by His Highness Sheikh Nasser, came first in the 10-kilometer race in the first half with 2 minutes and 51 seconds. His Majesty the King's representative for charity work in youth affairs, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, stressed the hard work of the technical and administrative staff of Team Bahrain Victorious and the outstanding efforts of the riders in providing the team's capabilities in foreign participations and their contributions in setting the status of the kingdom in European events. His Highness Sheikh Nasser noted that the team's new achievement in the Croatia Tour, with the cyclist Stevie taking first place in Le Quinn stage, confirmed the team's successes in various participations. His Highness pointed out that Le Quinn's stage is considered one of the strongest in the championships and the team winning first place reflects the high levels of riders and tremendous capabilities that qualify them. His Highness asserted his keenness to continue to support the team for more future achievements abroad. His Highness Sheikh Nasser congratulated cyclist Stevie for winning the first place, wishing the team further success in the upcoming participations. First Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, received at his office at Al Wadi Palace Minister of Oil, Sheikh Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The meeting was attended by the Vice President of the General Sports Authority, His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Mohammed Al Khalifa, and the Executive President of the General Sports Authority, Dr. Abdurrahman Sadiq Askar. His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad welcomed the Minister of Oil and extended the greetings and wishes of His Majesty King. Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for success and best of luck. His Highness Sheikh Khalid discussed with the oil minister plans of the General Sports Authority to support clubs and federations in order to contribute in implementing development objectives for the sports sector in the kingdom. The meeting also touched upon programs and projects that the authority is seeking to implement at the different sports sectors. For his part, Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad for all his efforts in the sports field, affirming his highness Highness's keenness on exerting more efforts that contribute in further progress and prosperity for the sports field in the kingdom under the prosperous era of His Majesty the King. The Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Endowments, Sheikh Khalid bin Ali Al Khalifa, lauded the issuance of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, Decree Number 28 of 2021, amending some provisions of the evidence law in civil and commercial matters, in addition to Decree Law Number 27 of 2021, amending some provisions of the Judicial Authority Law, and Decree Law Number 26 of 2021, amending some provisions of the law regarding the Bahrain Chamber for settlement of economic, financial, and investment disputes. The Minister of Justice said that these decrees by law come within a package of priority legislation to enhance the maintenance of rights and the rule of law and keep pace with the development requirements approved by the cabinet chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa after directing His Royal Highness to study them. The minister also praised the efforts that have been made to implement these legislations as they develop judicial procedures and the legislations in Bahrain to correspond to the kingdom's economic vision of 2030. Sheikh Khalid stressed the importance of the new project Khabra or expertise which came in line with the developments in the area specialized technical consultations and the best practices in its issues before the judiciary. The new project will contribute in reducing the period of litigation before the courts and raise the efficiency and quality of technical reports as well as allowing opponents to choose the best available specialized technical opinions enabling them to resort to expertise 
committees to prove the case and submitting their reports when the case is filed or during its progress according to the procedural system. On the amendment to the, to the Judicial Authority Law, the Minister of Justice added that the law allows the use of the English language in the courts if the parties agree to this in writing before filing the lawsuit. And this is within the framework of legal conditions to be determined, especially if the language of the contract is other than Arabic. He also stressed the importance of the amendment to the law of the Bahrain Chamber for the settlement of economic, financial and investment disputes, which expands the scope of the Chamber's jurisdiction to extend to disputes between companies in which the value of the claim exceeds 500,000 dinars. The law also gives powers that increase the effectiveness of the role of the delegated judge for the Bahrain Chamber for dispute resolution in the phase between filing the lawsuit and the formation of the dispute settlement body. The e-key used to log in to services on the national portal Bahrain.ph and government channels has been further improved, ensuring easy, quick and secure access by users without the need for them to enter personal details upon each visit. The information and e-government authorities said that the e-key is offered at two levels via e-key.ph, standard and advanced. The standard e-key is available for all citizens and residents in the kingdom and the GCC states with, with their ID cards. Users can register for the standard e-key by visiting the national portal Bahrain.ph or e-key.ph. Registration for the advanced e-key requires a one-time visit to the ID card center for a fingerprint scan. It said that in partnership with various public and private entities, Authority offers a range of e-services linked to both the standard and advanced e-key. This offers users multiple options on how to receive notifications based on their preference, which can now be via their smart devices or emails making their lives easier. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,165,374 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,119,996 had taken the second, and 309,264 had taken the booster dose. The ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. Meanwhile, the Minister of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 659 with 68 recoveries, 73 registered new cases and no deaths. 32 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 32 are contact of active cases and 9 are travel related. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for combating the coronavirus.